Local scientists are finding new ways to fight bacteria with progress in drug development. We talked to nuclear magnetic resonance expert Julius Adam Lopez on findings that could lead to new antibiotics. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Julius. What do you do in isolating antimicrobial compounds from marine sources for use in new antibiotic drugs? Julius, you're on yes, mute. Yes, good evening, Sir Rico. Yes. And good evening to our viewers. Yeah, yes, hello. I think yeah, what, what, what do you do in isolating unstable. antimicrobial compounds from marine sources for use in new antibiotic drugs? Julius. Yes, uh, as a Balik scientist, I have two main tasks. No? First is to provide expertise in nuclear magnetic resonance or NMR for the establishment of the first NMR facility in the Visayas region. NMR technology is crucial for the identification of chemical structures of bioactive compounds. Second is to provide expertise in the isolation and structure elucidation of compounds in the Philippine Marine Beta-Lactamase Inhibitor Project or Phil Marine BLI, sponsored by DOST, NRCP, or the National Research Council of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The project leader is Dr. Junel Saludes, also a Balik scientist, and it is a collaboration between University of San Agustin in here in Iloilo City, the medical city or TIGAS, and mm -hmm. Ateneo de Manila. So, so Julius, University. aside the from uh, antibiotics, is to discover Julius. Julius, I'd like to jump in. Uh, apart from antibiotics, what other potential drugs uh, can be developed from local sources? Julius? It's the limit. Yes, I would say that the sky is the limit. As long as we have the capacity to test and we can explore any therapeutic effect of interest, we can test for activity against various pathogens such as E. coli, uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus, and so on. So the Center for Chemical Biology and Biotechnology, or C2B2, at University of San Agustin, headed by Dr. Dora Linda Lizar, also a Balik scientist, maintains a panel of cancer cell lines, and they are screening for new cancer, anti-cancer agents as, as well. It also houses the Marine Actinomycic Biobank with about 2,000 strains of marine bacteria collected from different locations in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we have this resource, 2,000 possible drug-producing strains waiting to be uncovered. Mm -hmm. This could be sources of new drugs and drug leads for inflammation, fungal infections, diabetes, hypertension, and as I've said, new beta-lactamase inhibitors. This will surely have a major impact, uh, Julius, on the uh, local health industry, if developed. Yes, sir. Uh, that is the, the dream, no? that we could develop this drug locally so that we, we would be able to provide uh, affordable and accessible medicines to our Filipino people. So we don't have to rely on other countries for supply like what happened no, with, with the COVID-19 uh, vaccines. And how does the DOST Tuklas Luna Centers uh, support the country's drug discovery and uh, developmental initiatives? Uh, the Tuklas Lunas uh, program is a national drug discovery program aiming to discover new drugs and drug leads from Philippine natural sources for the development of affordable and homegrown medicines. There are two, two strategies, the herbal track and drug track. The herbal track, Tuklas Lunas centers focus on studies using herbal tr extracts, while the drug track, Tuklas Lunas centers aim to identify active ingredient in the extracts and determine the chemical structure. So these kinds of research and development projects will lead to locally made medicines or health products. So for example, I think years before we did not have Lagundi or Sambong available in the, in the pharmacies, right? So now we can buy these easily in syrup or capsule forms. Mm -hmm. And more recently, the University of San Agustin also conducted study on Tawa Tawa plant because it was being used for dengue. And also a study on Kajos or Pigeon Pea. These are small black or reddish brown beans which are widely used for cooking here in Panay. I think this year they, they will be launching products out of this Tawa Tawa and Kajos research. To, so please watch out for that. So uh, it takes time but we see progress and the fruits of our Tuklas Runas program. All the best uh, Julius Adam Lopez on your scientific research. Nuclear magnetic resonance expert Julius 
Adam López.